So let's talk about the future of work. Uh, let's go um, eight years out, let's go 10 years out, whatever that, that time frame is. And let's look at what's predicted by some of the major consulting houses, uh, PwC, uh, EY, KPMG, Deloitte, right? They're all pretty much saying the same thing. What they identify is there's some key drivers that's going to be changing the work environments. One of those key drivers is technology, obviously, like is technology. Uh, another one is through uh, geographical uh, distrib distribution of workplaces. So we're seeing that. Uh, another one is actually around aging demographic changes. So we know that the, the, um, the older population within organizations are starting to retire. We know that the younger population Millennials, Gen Ys are starting to come into the organisation. So that balance and the value of what's expected of work is actually starting to change. But the other thing that we know is customer experiences are also changing as well. So when you look at all of these reports, fundamentally they're the factors that are putting pressures on organisations. So what this means is the way that we do work now uh, is going to be different. So work is no longer going to be the place that we show up work is going to be what we do, right? And if you think about what's expected of organizations or people within organizations, they need to be a lot more collaborative, they need to be a lot more adaptable, they need to be a lot more um, flexible, they need to work in uh, environments that are across organizations, but they also need to work with teams that are geographically dispersed, right, for all of those. So what this means, is that if we know the predictions of the future of work, could we today as leaders start to develop ourselves so that this is just the norm?